Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to this tutorial today brought to you by Profile Tree. Before we begin, I would like to thank Wix for sponsoring this video. This tutorial will guide you through a step-by-step -step process using the Wix editor to show you how to build a website from scratch. To get started straight away and create your own website with Wix, click the link in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. How do you build a website? Well, there is a creative process in place for this. I would recommend using the core stages and then making them work for your individual needs. We always start with research and discovery. So looking at other websites for inspiration and checking to see what sort of things your competition is doing to keep up with the latest market trends. Then we move on to planning and design. This is a stage for gathering assets, writing content and sketching rough drafts of your web pages. Be as visual as you can at this part of the process. This is where you'll implement your branding to your design and if you haven't yet got branding, you might want to start creating that. To build our brand today, we're going to use the Wix logo maker. So through a series of questions, Wix will extract some information surrounding your brand and your design style, asking you what logo you like better. And once you have completed that process, then Wix will generate a series of different outcomes uh, surrounding your brand. So as you can see here, there's loads of different logos to choose from. Uh, I kind of like one at the top there that I first seen. Notice that Wix still allow you to fully customize your design, even though it's generated, you can still change everything about it. I'm, I just changed the icon here because I like the idea of showing a coffee cup for this barista brand. And then it'll show you some different, different things that it, it may feature on. And here you'll see our final design. Now that we have all these assets, we're going to use this for the next stage, which is development. Now that we've done our research and planning and preparation for the website development, we can head over to Wix.com. When you arrive at Wix, if you haven't already created an account, you're just going to want to sign up. On the sign up page, you'll be prompted to type in your email twice and create yourself a password. After doing this, just click sign up. You can also continue with Facebook or Google. When you've completed the sign up process, you should arrive at your Wix account dashboard. To create a new website, just click create new site. Which platform do you want to use? We want to use Wix. What kind of website do you want to create? Today we'll be creating a website for a local cafe. So I would think that would fall under restaurants and food. And so how do we want to build our website? We have two options with Wix. Wix ADI lets you create a website um, through artificial intelligence. It'll ask you a few simple questions and automatically present to you a design in a matter of minutes that you can still fully customize as well. But today we're actually going to create the website with the Wix editor and it allows you just to really implement your own design from scratch. You can choose from a number of templates that Wix offer, really, really nice templates, and these are fully customizable as well. But we're actually just going to pick a blank template today um, because I, I really want to get into the, the raw editing of a website, uh, the raw build. So let's pick this one page layout here. Okay, now we're in the Wix editor. I think it's probably best to start off with just a little bit of navigation around the Wix editor just to see what we're looking at. So starting from the top left, we have site actions like save, preview, publish settings, development mode. So add your own JavaScript code, connect external APIs. That's awesome. Help. So search the editor for help. I think you can also just use this little search feature over here, um, which is really handy to have. Tools. We can have the toolbar open. We can have, oh, layers, right? So this would be what's in each section of the page. So you can see here, the horizontal menu would be the navigation. And then the text is the name of the site. So we can get rid of both of them for now. We're not going to need them just yet. And definitely keep on grid lines and snap to objects. So grid lines you can see appear here when they're, when they're turned on. And the snap to objects, that would be like if I take this title here and I drag it up, you can see it's snapped to that line. So it's just handy when you're when you're designing or building anything in the in the editor. So I would keep that on. Okay, and if we go over to the left-hand side, 
this is something I kind of want to touch on because it's, I feel like it's very important. So if we switch to mobile, this will actually show us what our website's going to look like, you know, on a mobile version of the, of the, it'll show us a mobile version of the website. So if someone, if a user is viewing our website through a mobile phone uh, on a browser, and actually it's quite interesting, the third quarter of last year, mobile devices, excluding tablets, they generated around about 50% of uh, global traffic, which is massive. So you, your, your website should be designed for both desktop and mobile. So that's very cool. Um, and then we just go over to the left. We control our pages through this uh, little button here called menus and pages. So there's quite a few options within there. And each time you add a page, it will actually add it to your navigation bar that you have on your website background this will just change the actual background of the website uh, but for now we're just going to stick to a plain a plain white background add so this add button is probably something you'll be using quite a lot this is where you'll add text images and all sorts of features and elements to your website if we click on image you'll see here it says my image uploads this is where you're going to go to to upload your images that you're going to use for your website build. I've already prepared uh, a number of images for this build today. So to do that, you just click upload media and then just drag and drop your files in from your computer into this little square here. And that will upload to your works account, which is awesome. Working our way down, we have site colors. This is also something that you want to do at the very start before you build your website. So you'll just be choosing uh, a number of colors that you want to, to use within your build. Again, I've prepared some already. So I'm going to go for sort of like a monochromatic uh, color theme throughout the website. Working our way on down then, we have the Wix app market. So this would be where you connect your third party apps to your Wix website like MailChimp, get Google ads. Um, and you know, if you're looking to monitor analytics or anything like that, um, this is where you would go and sort of implement the third party app. Media, again, this is your media station. So you're controlling the, the, the files on your website. And Wix is really cool. Actually, it offers a photo studio and a video maker. So that's where you'll be able to edit your photos. And then you can actually create your own promotional videos within this um, video maker. It's a very cool feature. Start a blog below that. And finally, we have Wix Ascend. So this is where you'll be marketing uh, your website. Okay, so by now you should be a bit more comfortable with navigating around the, the Wix editor. And at this stage, we could just jump straight into developing the website. So we're going to start at the very top with the navigation and just work our way down each section of the page. So right now I'm just customizing the color, the type of text used here. Um, and the kind of image I have in my head for this home page, I want there to be a, a, a big image. So we're going to drag this image that we have in the background and just drag that down to, to meet the bottom of the page. And I want the, the, the visitor to be captured as soon as they enter the website. So we're going to start with a big bold statement. You can see here, I'm also using a, a colored shape to um, have a filter effect over the top of the image, just to brighten it up a, a little tiny bit and keep within that color theme that I've selected for the entire website. Jumping on down to the about section, we're just going to change this image here by double clicking and selecting the image that we want to go in there. And then we can format this text here, drag it up and make it uh, fit comfortably with that a complementary with with the image that's on the left hand side of it um a, a little tip as well at this stage you can see some of the the text is being changed here so i have a document alongside the website here that is just filled with everything that i need for the build and we're just going to add a, a line in here to break up this section of the page then we move down to services if we just move this up and we're going to change this to what what do we offer I like this section, but I'm going to change the icons and we're going to make those images. So this feature I'd like to highlight, it's called uh, a shape crop. It allows you to 
use an, a, a shape and then crop the image whatever image you're using to that shape which is incredible so to make these images circles it's actually really really user friendly we just jump into the customization menu into the crop option and we're just going to make those images a circular shape to fit in line with the the kind of template that we already have um, and then to just pull that image up a little bit so with inside the circle crop we can actually navigate the image if we use the animation button right here and then we're going to select an animation you can see it's actually live preview of each animation while we look through it i think the the best animation to use here would probably be expand in so we're going to use that expand in animation and then also just to remember to get rid of that circle at the back you can maybe just color it white and so that when the images before the images come in there's not going to be a gray circle there it'll be a white one so you won't see it and then we just repeat this for each of the other services that we offer and then the next section is see for yourself so this is a, a gallery that wix have uh, put in this template so we're just going to replace each image within the gallery select which image you want to change and hit replace image and once you've selected them all you also have the option to write a caption or add in a url link and then we just hit done and we have our gallery uh, sitting very nice on our web page then at the bottom we just want to fix up some of the contact information okay so the last thing we just want to add in our logo at the for our branding at the top of the page and you can see here if we just use the preview button at the very top so we can just preview our website that we've just built there we go so guys that's it for our web page build today if you have any questions regarding wix just drop them in the comment section below do remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and for the next stage of this website we're going to add a store for e-commerce customers can make payments online we're going to add a blog in then we're going to market the website using uh, seo tools that wix has to offer if you find this tutorial helpful and you want to just get straight into it click the link in the description box below to create your own website with wix thanks very much for watching guys